Today, we're solving systems of equations again, but we have a new trick. So, we have two equations here. Neither one, neither one of them has an x equals or a y equals. So normally, we would have to take one of these equations, subtract, for example, subtract 6x on both sides, divide both sides by negative 5, so that we would get a y equals equation, and substitute it into the other equation. But I'm going to show you a new method that will solve this a lot faster. Now this new method only works because the first equation has a 6x, the second equation has a negative 6x. They have the same number of x's, but one's positive and one's negative, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the two equations, and I'm actually going to add the two equations together. Now, when I do that, 6x's plus negative 6x's eliminates all of the x's, because there's no x's left. Negative 5y plus 11y is 6y. Drop down my equal sign. 14 plus negative 2 is 12. Now, by adding those two equations together, I've made a simpler equation that I can actually solve. So, 6y equals 12. Divide both sides by 6. y equals 2. Now, to figure out what x is, I'm going to have to take 2 and put it back into one of the original equations to figure out what x is. So I'll take it, I'm going to put it in the first one. Okay? So, I've got 6x minus 5 times whatever y is, in this case it's 2, equals 14. 6x minus 10 equals 14. Now I can just solve this. Add 10 to both sides. 6x equals 24. And then divide both sides by 6. x equals 4. So my solution is x is 4, y is 2. Now, here's the thing to point out, though. This method of addition only works because they have the same number of x's, but one's positive and one's negative. It would also work, though, if you had the same number of y's, but one was positive and negative. But this method is called the elimination method because when you add the two equations together, it eliminates all of one variable, and then you can easily solve for the remaining one.